What's the difference between BODMAS and PEMDAS? Let's find out. Well, both of these words refer to how we solve the order of operations, which means the sequence in which we answer a question like this one. And actually, the secret is they mean the same thing. One is English, one is American. BODMAS stands for brackets, whereas PEMDAS starts with parentheses, but they are exactly the same thing. A bracket in English is the same as a parentheses in America. Then we have O for order or E for exponent, and the order or exponent just refers to this little power of two, or sometimes we might have a square root. And then we actually have pairs. They both stand for multiplication or division, and it doesn't matter which way they're written in the word because they are paired, and we have to answer them in the order they appear in the question. Same as A and S, which is addition and subtraction. They are paired, we have to answer them in the order they appear in the question. So let's use that to answer this super simple question using these two methods. So we have to start with our brackets, or in other words, our parentheses. So we're gonna solve what's in this bracket, and this bracket, and this bracket first of all. So let's start with the first one, 12 subtract four would be eight. And then this bracket has a little tricky part because we have an order in it, or in other words, we have an exponent in it. So we have to solve that part first before we do the three plus because addition comes later in my BODMAS or PEMDAS. So let's solve the exponent or the order first. And five squared is 25. Now I can do three plus 25 and three plus 25 is 28. And the last bracket is six minus three, which is three. So my next line to my question would be eight multiplied by 28 divided by seven plus 18 divided by by three. Now what do I have to do next? Well, we have to look back at BODMAS or PEMDAS and we have done the brackets and the parentheses and we've actually also done the orders or the exponents. So now we're at the multiplication and division pair. So what I have to now do is just look at when they appear in the question and solve them in order. And I can see the first question is a multiplication. So I have to do eight times 28 first and eight times 28 is 224. So my next row would be 224 divided by seven plus 18 divided by three. Which part comes next? Well, I can see I have a division, 224 divided by seven. And that gives me an answer of 32. So my next row will be 32 plus 18 divided by three. And I'm still on the division and multiplication because I can see a division of 18 divided by three is six. And therefore I'm at my addition and subtraction part and I have an addition question, 32 plus six is 38. Easy.